Well, we as structural engineers design our buildings to withstand particular types of loads. Those loads are defined depending on what the building is supposed to be used for. The things you often find inside of someone's home is not the same stuff that's going to be found inside of a major office building. What you see above here is what we call a change in use case, aka going from a balcony to, well, a swimming pool. The first thing you need to do is determine how much load the deck was designed to handle. In our codes, particularly the ASCE 7, this is defined in the live load chapter. Live loads are the weight of the activities that the space is intended to see. For example, somebody's house, you might have couches, chairs, tables, a couple of people walking around and beds, and obviously some other things all accounted for. All of these items are boiled down into a singular load, a pound per square foot that engineers use in the design of the building. Now a deck or balcony is designed to handle 1.5 times the live load of the area served. The area served means the room attached to that balcony that people can come from to access the space. And for our case here today, it's that door right there. And let's just say it's an apartment because this seems like apartment type of shenanigans going on here. Well, for an apartment, the code actually tells you to see residential loading requirements. And if we head over there, it's listed that private rooms and corridors serving them need to be designed for a live load of 40 pounds per square foot. Multiply that by 1.5 gets you to 60 pounds per square foot that the deck or the balcony above here is designed for. Now that we likely know what the balcony was designed for, let's see how much load is now currently on this balcony with this outdoor pool extension. Well, we all know water is very, very heavy. If you don't, you do now. It's actually 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So for every foot of water elevation, that is 62.4 pounds per square foot. And just based on this image here, even if we were being nice, uh, let's call it, I don't know, 2.5 feet of water floating around in our jacuzzi pool. Get out calculators. 2.5 times 62.4 gets you 156 pounds per square foot of just the water that you're seeing there, which is significantly more than the 60 pounds per square foot that is likely what the deck was designed for. So this is no bueno, and hopefully you're not out here doing this, or if you are, you're engaging your local structural engineer prior to doing this so they can strengthen that balcony for the change in use case.